radiation. This word likely incites worry and fear in you, right? We've been raised as a society to be fearful of it, but why is that? And is there any truth to this? As I'll explain in this video, you'll begin to understand how you've been fed misinformation and how, in fact, radiation in low amounts can actually be very beneficial, even essential to all living organisms. It sounds crazy, right? If you think it is, then you just simply haven't been properly educated on the topic. And that's okay. I intend to clear this up today and show you how the same energy emitted from a scalar energy pendant has been used for healing purposes for hundreds of years. Please be sure to check out the links below the video for more information regarding this topic. I assure you, there is a lot. Now let's look at some real facts about Earth-based radiation. Did you know each and every famous natural healing spring around the world praised for their miraculous healing effects are in fact radioactive? Did you know the black sand beaches of Brazil, revered for their healing effects, emit 400 times the natural background radiation level? Yes, they too are in fact radioactive. Did you know those who were not killed by the atomic bombs dropped in Hiroshima have displayed on average over the last 65 years a significant reduction in cancer rates? This study completely contradicts the belief that long-term radiation in low amounts is harmful. It simply isn't true. Did you know in the 1960s, a Swiss experiment in a deep, non-radioactive mine found that the plants and animals could not reproduce if no radiation was present at all. This displayed the fact that not only can radiation be beneficial, but it is in fact essential to all life. Did you know Nobel Prize winner and the father of the all radiation is bad theory, Herman Muller? knowingly lied when he claimed in 1946 that there is no safe level of radiation exposure? A recent study in 2011 was able to determine this. This lie is what created our current belief that all radiation is bad. He had research all along that proved that a threshold exposure level existed before there was absolutely any risk at all. Now we know why his theory consistently has not matched real-world examples. It was wrong. Why is there so much fear surrounding radiation? This comes down to money. The radiation remediation industry is a billion, yeah, that's right, billion dollar industry that has a great deal of corporate and even political ties. It would be completely torn apart if the public fear of low-level radiation were to be eliminated. The truth is that humanity has utilized natural radiation for improved health and well-being for hundreds, if not thousands of years. The old model of understanding radiation, known as the LNT theory, has been disproven by real-world events countless times. This current mainstream model of understanding low-level radiation has been wrong far more than it has been correct. However, due to the billion-dollar industry surrounding it, the fear will continue to be perpetuated with the hopes that the public won't do the research to educate themselves on the truth of the situation. In fact, the mass fear of radiation in any amount grew dramatically following World War II for obvious reasons. Political anti-radiation propaganda seriously affected the advancement of the study of low-level radiation since 1960 as a result. It's all about the dose. The most important thing to understand is that in regards to radiation, it's all about the dose. Time and time again, it has been shown that low-dose exposure, in fact, triggers healing in the body, whereas high doses such as close proximity to an atomic bomb explosion, will cause death in a short period of time. To give some analogies in layman's terms, sun exposure is great and very beneficial to the human body. It's necessary for vitamin D and proper immune system function. Too much sun, 
on the other hand, is bad. You'll get burned and increase sun cancer odds with excessive exposure. The human body requires iron to function. Too much iron in the blood, however, can kill you. Drinking water is essential to health. Drink an excessive amount and you can actually die. Natural ionizing radiation is the exact same thing. Too much or too little of anything can be bad for you. So, just how much radiation can I be exposed to safely? Low levels of radiation exposure over long periods of time, up to 500 times the typical natural background levels, are not harmful. The ironic truth is that all quantum pendants emit just a fraction of this amount. In fact, an argument could be made that the pendant should be stronger. The all radiation is bad theory only truly applies to enormous exposures over 100 REM absorbed over a short period of time. I encourage you to view the links below as they support all the information in this video as well as going into much more detail on this topic. To sum it all up, a quantum pendant is simply a condensed volcanic rock made into a shape. So you get to receive the many benefits of volcanic rock everywhere you go. In light of all this information, much of which I'm sure is new or very different from what you've been told before, I'll leave you with one final thought. German philosopher Arthur Schopenhauer put it best. All truth passes through three stages. First it is ridiculed, second it is violently opposed, third it is accepted as being self-evident. Low level radiation is safe and in fact essential to life. It's no coincidence or placebo effect that has people actually feeling improvement from wearing a quantum pendant. They really do emit beneficial energy.